Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. Cheers. Today, I'm going to be a bit quieter than usual. I have a simple problem, which is I'm getting over a dreadful cold, so the throat isn't functioning very well. So I thought rather than giving a long talk today, I'd do a simple one. Some time ago, I tested some Pelican M205 highlighter ink. But then that delightful fellow, Chris Curtis, sent me this. Let's have a look at what's inside and give it a quick test. First of all, what was it that Chris actually sent me this time? He sent me two things. One was this, a second type of highlighter ink to complement the first one he sent me. But this, of course, as you can probably see from the packaging, is not yellow so much as green. So it's going to be interesting to try that out and see how it works. But what was in this box? Well, Caveco. A lot of you will know already that I really like my Caveco pens. I've got two sports. This is the aluminium version. I've got a lovely brown plastic sport. But I like my Cavecos. They're nice little pens. They work extremely well. And they come with these interesting boxes. Uh, that is rather nice, isn't it? Let's see what's inside. Well, a little sticky label which has decided to go walk about and I can't pick it up. There we go. A sticky label, Caveco. And we have some Caveco ink cartridges in the highlighter yellow. A little instruction manual which is pretty basic stuff. We have a cartridge converter. Now these things hold tiny amounts of ink. I rather like that in a note-taking pen though, because if I'm out and about and I want to take a bunch of notes, that's fine. There's enough ink in one of these cartridge converters to do just that. But it also means I get through that pen fairly quickly. So in a day or two, I can change it for some different ink, which is nice. I like changing my inks. This itself is the pen. A little Caveco Sport with no clip. When you buy a Caveco, you have to buy the clip separately and attach that on. So generally it comes as a pocket pencil, which is very easy to fit in a pocket. They are only small. If you were to try to write with it as standard, it would not be very easy to write with because it is very small. It falls down behind your hand here. But when you post them, all of a sudden it becomes a full-size pen and very, very effective. They are light. They're fairly thin plastic. They're very simple design. Again, apologies for the cold. They tend to come with a free cartridge. You put the international standard cartridge, press it down firmly, that will fill the feed and you're ready to go. What is different about this pen is, as you can see, it's got a massive nib. But this is a 1.9 millimeter stub nib. It is a gloriously fat nib and it's designed for doing calligraphy, I believe, but Caveco had this brilliant idea that wouldn't it be nice to have a pen that could be used as a highlighter pen. So they put the 1.9 stub nib on this little pen. So what I propose to do is to give a little bit of a test of these two inks and also Caveco's own. And then we can see how they all compare. These have always been my mainstays. I don't know about you, but as I think I've mentioned before, I really dislike using standard highlighter pens because I go for months without needing to use them and invariably when I pick them up, the darn things don't work. So here's some examples of blue, yellow and sort of orange Faber-Castell text liners. 
I find these really good. The blue I find a little bit difficult. I'm just going to zoom in now. I apologise for the noise the camera is liable to make. But you can see here, the blue does cover over the text a bit and it makes it a bit more difficult to read it. The yellow, I find, really shows up nicely. It brings out the lettering well, it shows up well on the page, it's very obvious. The orange too really does show up everything well. But I must admit my favourite is the yellow mainly because the crayon itself seems to be a little bit softer so you get more of an effect. With the orange you have to work a bit harder, I find. It could just be these old things. <clears throat> I have been asked how I sharpen them. I just use a big standard old-fashioned pencil sharpener. Right hand for crayons is absolutely perfect. Right, having said all that, let us look at ink pens. Now this, I haven't used this with this highlighter ink for at least three weeks now, and yet it still is working beautifully. Absolutely no hard starts or anything, it just works every time. Very, very impressed. And that ink really shows up well. That's this one, the M205 Duo in yellow. Thanks, Chris. That is a gorgeous ink, and it really does function. Now, this Twisby Go has been loaded with the yellow 205 ink for the last six weeks. And I wanted to just show you, I have just emptied it and given it a rinse. And there is no apparent colouring, discolouring, staining, whatever we want to call it, in that pen. So, let's have a look at our Caveco. Here we go, one Caveco designed to work with brightly coloured inks. What's this Caveco got? It's a standard Caveco, nib, feed, everything else. If we now push in the cartridge converter, you can just feel it click there slightly. It is a very simple plunger mechanism. So we'll go to the yellow ink, just to show what it looks like with this wonderful, I hope, nib. And it's a good idea always to pump it a few times to make sure you get a proper fill. doesn't really matter because this is going to be emptied in a second, but um, it's always a good habit to get into. Got ink all over my fingers. Right, screw that up tight. Let's see how this looks on the paper. I'm actually going to post it because it is just that little bit easier. Now, again, this fat nib is just wonderful. It's actually got some really nice feel to it as well. Let me just demonstrate how fat that is compared with the Twisby Go 1.1mm. So it is really quite a radical difference and improvement on the size of the 1.1. This ink itself is just glorious. It really does show up beautifully. I tend to find it is better for me to use this ink using it with boxes around the text or circles, whatever it might be, but with this nib, actually, it is very practical. It's like having one of those big spade-type nibs that you used to get on old um, highlighter pen. So let's have a look at the green ink. OK, so the Jex returns, and this time it's green. Let's see how that works. This is a very wet nib, it has to be said. It goes on really quite dark, as you can see here. So it's not as easy to pick up on as it is here with the yellow. If you want to, you can just put a line through text, of course. 
not as effective as that I don't think although I'm going to come back to it when this writing when this ink has dried out a little bit but very bright certainly not as bright as the yellow personally the yellow is still winning out for me now for my last little party trick I'm going to insert this devilish looking highlighter cartridge into my Caveco again just push it straight in it's a standard universal type of ink cartridge fitting and now we've got a Caveco ink so here we are now with the Caveco highlighter pen with Caveco highlighter ink what better to do than highlight me here I am does it do Oops. not very happy about coming through just now hold on a second this is now working fine but there is something that I have to say which I find quite interesting and that is that if I try to write with it as normal it's been extremely reluctant to obey now I'm having to go over that quite extensively I put the cartridge in and there didn't seem to be any ink flow at all but what was odd was as soon as I put it onto a bit of blotting paper or tissue the ink would flow fine but there certainly seems to be something that this nib isn't too happy about it could be partly the paper of course I don't know but it's not as easy and free-flowing as the Pelican ink was which I find strange because obviously this ink is designed for this pen so it does seem peculiar let's just go up here if you want to draw a line through text it isn't too happy about it if you want to put in a square then that's good that's fine however let's just compare these now the Pelican 205 ink is really bright and stands out wonderfully well doesn't matter whether it's the green or the yellow it really does show up this blue Faber Castell pencil is not so good the orange is good that stands out well the yellow is good that stands out quite well but not as oh my god am I in your face or what as the Pelican the Caveco again is a little bit more muted it's a little bit more subtle it does work very well but I think it has to dry slightly before it starts working and certainly it you're better off if you go over things a few times to highlight them properly so strange that the pen and nib combination is less happy with the ink designed and sold for it compared to the pelicans and so on which really were very very smooth flowing inks and there's one other thing I've got to show you and that is these inks are brutal and on the back here this is the pelican this is the green pelican and they really are coming through so extensively that they're marking all the page paper all the pages behind I say all the pages they've gone through one definitely and it's actually coming through the second sheet behind as you can see here there's the green green pelican there this is dots coming through from the yellow pelican so it really is pretty brutal stuff you've got to have good quality paper I think for these to work certainly doesn't seem to work terribly well with cheap copier paper which is what this is 
interestingly, although the Caveco ink is coming through, it's not showing up on the second page, even though I've had to go over things several times. Don't forget, this is Pelican ink going through once. I just did one outline of a box, and it came through that fast. What do I like about this combination? I do like the Caveco pen. It is a delightful little pen. It really is so easy to shove in your pocket and use that lovely little pen. So here we go. We have a whole bunch of highlighter inks demonstrated here. We have pencil. We have Pelican 205 in yellow, Pelican 205 in green, and then a number of Caveco attempts. Now, it has to be said, and I'm looking through the screen of the camera, it is blatantly obvious to me that the best, if you want a highlighter that's really going to leap out and grab you, it's Pelican. It is much brighter than the Caveco, it's quite a lot brighter than the pencil. The green I like, but it, I find it a bit too dark. So it, it does highlight well, especially if you're doing a straightforward word or something similar. But it is very dark. It doesn't quite jump out and grab me as the yellow one does. But there is one thing you have to be aware of with all of these. If you're working in an office and you want to highlight a pen, if you're a student, you've got photocopies of books, you want a highlighter pen, that's all very well. But be aware of one risk, which you will never get with a Faber-Castell pencil. That is, they really come through strongly. In fact, the Pelican inks came through to the second page. And I'm not sure how visible this will be. But the green has come through here and here. The Pelican yellow has come through here, here, here. On the second page behind it. Right on something that is unimportant behind it. Because otherwise you're going to highlight on the first page. And then flicking over you're going to be checking to see what you wanted to highlight on that page as well. It'll waste a lot of time. General flow and everything else. This Pelican ink is superb. And the nib on this Caveco means that you can really highlight well. It shows everything off beautifully. It is a lovely nib. Do I like this pen? Yes, I do. It's absolutely superb with Pelican inks. What do I not like about it? I don't like the fact that it really doesn't seem to want to work with this cartridge. Now, I have been experimenting if I put a bit of blotting paper there the inks does start to flow well it's not going to now just to prove that this is a live video and that's the way life is yep doesn't want to flow at all it is a very hard starter I have not the faintest idea why I've never had this with any Caveco before it may be that the pen just isn't quite set up right. It could be it's the ink. I don't know which it is. This is now a quick addition because I've had a play with this pen and now it is working absolutely fine, as you can see. It is good for doing boxes. Just getting little notes. It's good for striking through text very very happy with that and if you want to just write on the paper it does that too it goes down and looks fairly pastel but then all of a sudden it comes up now the interesting thing here is look at the comparison between the Caveco now and the Pelican 205 the Pelican still wins in terms of overall brightness. I'm impressed with that. But the Caveco has this big advantage that it really doesn't show through anything like as much as the Pelican. This is the same paper, it's the same talk I was giving some time ago. This is just page three instead of page one. So, 
now, thinking about them, hmm, it's an even more varied choice. You've got the subtlety but the brightness of the pencil with the Faber-Castell. You've got the real garish brightness of the Pelican 205. Or the slightly more subtle approach with the Caveco. Which, I must admit, is coming through to work with me now. It's a strange, slightly greenish tinge rather than the very, very bright Pelican yellow. Which makes it seem a little bit more subtle, but certainly here, that is, that is showing up really, really well. So there you have it. I now have the feeling that, yes, the Pelican 205 ink is definitely the best if you want really, really bright. For me, with my failing eyesight, that's probably still the best option, to be honest. But on a page, the Coveco stands out perfectly adequately, and I think... Because of the ease of use of having cartridges that can be pocketed and taken with you anywhere, this is probably the best combination for me now. Hmm, difficult. Difficult to know what, what is actually the best thing to go for. I leave it up to you, dear viewer. It's entirely up to you. If you want something that won't bleed through, go for the pencil. If you want something really, really bright, go for the Pelican 205. If you want something that's going to be darker, go for their green, that's fine. But personally, I think I'm going to stick with the Caveco for now. So there we are. A test of a bunch of different highlight pencils and pens. Test of different inks. And now I've got a cough sweet. Because I've been coughing dreadfully. So apologies for a video that's slightly disjointed with lots of cuts. But if you enjoyed that, down at the bottom there's a link to my Patreon account and if you want to help support this channel then you can go straight through to that. If you've got any comments to make or questions stick them in the comments box. If you've got the urgent need to subscribe hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button if you want notifications, share it, love it, like it, all that. And now I'm going to take my lisping suite away with me and get back to some work, because now I've got to edit six scenes and then get back to writing again. I've got a lot to do. Thanks very much. Here's a photo of the dog with me. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, see you soon. No, I'm going now. Bye-bye. You still there?